General Shao, whom have you chosen as our next competitor? Your Majesty, I have chosen Reiko, my second in command. As a boy, Reiko was orphaned during the Kafala War. Though captured, his spirit remained unbroken. He scratched, clawed, and survived. After the war, I took him in, molded him into the perfect soldier. Few others are as well versed in the ways of war. <laughs> In whose army have you served? In what wars have you fought? I have done neither. Then you are woefully unprepared, Earthrealmer. This will be your last battlefield. Fight! Felled by a simple farmer. I am ready for my next opponent, Your Majesty. Whom shall I face? Patience, young man. We are adjourned until first light. I hope to see you all at this evening's banquet. My husband, Jared, believed that the future of our realms lay together. Let us move forward in open dialogue, letting no secrets tear our bonds asunder. Your Majesty, it's an honor to be here and to meet your people. I can already see there's more that joins us than divides us. <laughs> our peoples could not be more different, champion. Excuse me? You heard me. Earth realm is a devoid of all. That's enough, General. My apologies, Your Majesty. Perhaps I've enjoyed too much of this excellent wine. With your permission. You may go. the fires! Find who set them! Stand down, General. This is my problem, not the military's. <sighs> Look. Size off. You know him? Who is he? Unimportant. But it means the Earth Realmers are here. Rico. Blood? <laughs> You're Zaterran. How can you- There is much you don't know. Like what the General is truly up to. <sighs> Surrender and I'll hear you out. I can't if you resist arrest. You arrest me, he'll execute me. And that's not how I intend to die. Fight! <laughs> Hmm. 
know that I am sorry for disturbing Sundo's peace. Everything now makes sense. My Umgadi contacts had said the general soldiers had been encroaching. But still, I, I can't fathom it. General Shao committing treason? It is the fruit of a poisonous seed planted by Shang Tsung. He played to the general's vanity, inflamed his prejudices to convince him that he alone could save our world. He may be unstoppable. The Umgadi don't have numbers, and my constables aren't trained for war. Know that I, too, will aid in the Empress's defense. Driver, what is it? I may need that aid right now. Return Liu Kang to the portal gate, Li Mei. He isn't welcome in Outworld. I won't support the general, Reiko, nor his plot to usurp the throne. Then you won't live to see the new regime. They have us surrounded. I am Earthrealm's protector, Li Mei. I am no stranger to combat. Then let's get out there. You should have joined us, not the constabulary. We could have used your own gaudy skills. Enough! I've no use for a traitor's compliments. You and your accomplices will face judgment, Reiko. We must leave. Reinforcements will be on the way. Are you hurt? <laughs> I've never been better. Fools. Your spell worked before only because you surprised me. It won't happen again. Fight! His soul is ours. Army's trapped. All of the other realms in this timeline are safe. Never forget, Raiden, that we risked our lives to perform this service. One that wouldn't have been needed if you hadn't conspired with the other Shang Tsung. They will fight to the last man. Come, we must help the others. With General Shao freed from prison, we began raising a new army against the royal family. Though many were eager recruits, few were good at soldiering. It was so bad, the general was forced to change tactics. He decided that we needed a doomsday weapon. That weapon isn't a thing, though. It is a monster. Onaga, the Dragon King. The General told me the old legends were true. 
that his ancient ancestor defeated Onaga, trapping him deep inside Mount Sagan. The Dragon King is still there today, his pent-up fury waiting to be unleashed. Because Onaga is so dangerous, the General wouldn't risk trying to tame him before. But now, he feels we have no choice. Though I likely won't survive, I accept this mission gladly. I can think of no greater honor than to give my life in the General's service. <laughs>